Hello. I wish I could say nice to see you, but I cannot see you. Well, you can see me, so that's I suppose quite all right. And I hope everybody's all right. Everybody's feeling fine, and you are sort of uh, well resting a lot, I guess, right? Right. Okay. So I was asked to do something for you, and I decided well with a little help from my friends to say a few words about how I started uh, collecting records which is actually a long story but I'm going to do it you know cut it short because otherwise I'll be talking and talking and talking and you will fall asleep and you know how it is okay anyway so uh, since I was since I was a teenager I, 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 I've been interested in music and I remember getting my first uh, tape recorder and then another tape recorder and then finally I got myself a gramophone which uh, most people call a record player okay because while well, you play records using this particular machine and uh, I started with uh, buying Polish records which was obvious because it was uh, you know in the times when getting anything from the other side of the the Iron Curtain was kind of difficult right uh, I remember the first the first foreign record I had was was a Czech Czechoslovakian actually an issue of Charlie Parker but I'm not going to tell you about that I'm going to tell you about the first really foreign American LP okay and uh, the thing happened like that uh, I was already a high school student I suppose the, the second grade and uh, there came a new classmate okay and he was also into music uh, it turned out he had a younger brother who had a record which when I heard whose record it was it sort of uh, well, blew me away and it was a record by uh, an American composer American musician uh, Frank Zappa and it was the third record which Frank Zappa produced and issued uh, under the name the mothers of invention you know the, the name itself was sort of like wow the mothers of invention wow this must be something interesting okay and when I saw the cover well the you know it was a, a really straight deal because it looked like that now some of you may kind of recognize the concept right and uh, if you recognize it you're absolutely right because then you have a look at this and obviously the similarities are all there okay well obviously this is a very famous LP by the Beatles called Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band okay no mistake about that so that's the front that's the back okay and here is the middle okay wow okay so I got this one I bought it off of him okay and the point was that actually this was turned the other way round okay which is this looked like the front and that looked like the back uh, I didn't know about those things at that time I was just sort of like very very excited because you know uh, I'd been learning English for a few years and uh, when I saw when I saw this record and when I had a look at the lyrics I just knew yeah that's the kind of music which I'm going to love no matter what kind of music it is because the lyrics are just fantastic 
you know. Okay, so so I got me this record, okay, and uh, well, as you can see, it's not really it's not really in a very good shape. Well, because it's been through a lot of well through a lot, okay. Let, let's let's put a period in here, okay. Just through a lot, okay. Anyway, anyway, uh, later on when uh, you could, let's say, have a better access to information, it turned out that actually, and here is the copy number two, okay, and that's the way this album was originally issued with the pictures of the band nice fellas huh okay with the pictures of the band in front okay and ah uh, you know it's it's yeah that's you know history okay and this was the inside okay well the thing was that that Paul McCartney was not exactly very excited about the idea of you know making a cover like that because he considered it to be a parody of, of the Beatles album okay which well you might say okay kind of kind of musically is is it's totally different and the lyrical content content is is is, is absolutely different okay anyway just uh that's Frank Zappa a nice fella right okay Oh, nice dresses and stuff, okay. Uh, what, what is actually interesting, uh, it is, in a way, a very, you know, a very, well, in a way, very detailed copy of, 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 of the whole context, the whole idea of Sgt. Pepper. Because, well, as you can see, you've got the cover, like that, okay, which is... Let me, let me go back, exactly, you know, the point, except that here you have this uh, piece of the 60s psychedelia, okay, but when you look it's like this, and the Beatles album had a little, a little insert like that, okay, so you could cut the things out and, well, I don't know when you do when you cut things out, well, probably you look at them and at some point you throw them out. Fortunately, uh, you know, the, 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 this is the whole, the whole works, okay? So that's nice. And, obviously, Zappa had this idea that, yeah, okay, we can also have a thing like that. So here it is, okay? But this is where similarities end. Well, apart from the point that, uh, you know, the contents of the album are basically a lot of songs. Just like the Beatles album, it's it's a lot of songs, but this is kind of you know different music. This is absolutely one of the analog albums which I simply adore. Really, there is nothing like that anywhere at any time, and uh, somebody who listens to that must be really turned on by that period okay if you haven't heard this particular album uh well i'm sorry but you can always go to youtube and you will find it without any problem i hope since we all have a lot of time on our hands you're going to find a little time and listen to it and enjoy yourselves and of course since you've been learning English, I urge you to read the lyrics. And when we meet, which I hope will take place sometime this year, uh, perhaps in June, I don't know, we will discuss it. How about that? Huh? So, basically, your homework, dear students, is to find this particular album I think it will be easier if you if you look it like that if you look for the title okay we're only in it for the money 
that's that's a good title actually. When when I read when I read the title, you know, we're only in it for the money. I thought, yeah, okay, this is definitely honest. Okay, yeah, that's business, music business. Okay, but for them it's music business. For us, it's a pleasure business. Okay, so enjoy yourselves, and you know. I will keep my fingers crossed that we meet as soon as possible. Thank you very much. You take care of, so, of yourselves. Don't stay home too much. Go for a walk. Ride a bike. I don't know. Talk to friends. Do whatever you can do. Not to be lonely. Don't be a lonely little girl or a lonely little boy. That's one of the songs actually. On, on, on this in this particular records okay so take care and see you later alligator bye bye